Hi everyone, uh, it's Natalia Aranzova. I'm a portrait and conceptual photographer based in Mumbai. And uh, today I'm going to show uh, what was... I've been asked many times uh, how to give artistic painterly feel to the images. So today that is a small tutorial, uh, mostly for beginners, I would say. And uh, you're welcome to see how do I do that. So here is some images uh, taken by me that have a kind of painting feel. So I would like to show them. And I've been asked many times how to achieve this uh, painterly effect. So today we are going to do that. I'm going to open um, a couple of images. This is one of the images and if you analyze that you can see that a part of the light with that has to be very soft and um, no harsh light, no rim light, preferably a paintery um, feeling, very simple um, and simple soft light. Uh, can be used uh, a window for that purpose, it can be window light or as I have done that in studio, which I won't be showing right now because studio workshops I conduct uh, in person. So um, I use after retouching and basic cleanup, I use a painting texture that can be any texture downloaded from any sources, whatever you like. The colors can be also changed easily. So uh, this is a basic texture I downloaded from DeVenart uh, quite some time back. And um, this texture has like you know like a threads like a canvas effect so I quite like it and I use it quite often so what do we do command A command C we copy and paste command V we paste on top of our image so uh, as you can see there is a background and on top of that we have a, our texture layer so you can reduce the opacity, say whatever pleases to your eye, uh, leave it 22 or so. You can adjust, adjust the texture, move it and don't worry if the texture is slightly smaller and not very high resolution that won't affect your image anyway, you need a painter effect and it will give brush strokes kind of uh, effect. So uh, we pick the simple brush, don't forget to create a layer mask and with the soft brush with a minimum flow so you can be in control of what is happening just simply brush out the places of the image where you don't want your texture to be. So for me it is a face, of course eyes supposed to be absolutely clear of texture. Yeah. Shoulder, hands and a slightly from fabric. If you want to recover something you can always switch your colors and paint back so all your texture comes back. So how you do that? Just like here you can see that uh, it has uh, like kind of fabric threads so if you if you don't want uh, this fabric threads to be so visible you can always go to filter blur Gaussian blur and blur it a bit like this so 
so it depends how much you want you want it absolutely blur or you want to leave some texture on it so like choose it accordingly to your vision so for me it is uh, 4.2 and this is the final image and you can see before and after this is before and this is after so their image kind of changing a lot our black background is coming out details are coming out uh, hair details that were lost in the dark uh, part of the image it's coming out now so this is it I hope you enjoyed my small video and if you wish to continue to receive from me uh, some tutorials from time to time click the button like and follow thank you for your attention